So I'm going to be doing um, my boiling cold demonstration. This demonstration I'm going to be using some butane fuel. These are refillable butane canisters that are used to refill uh, butane lighters. Okay, I like this one that's been oxidized, but you can refill them usually by some kind of hole in the back. In any case, I think butane. Now butane is very interesting. It's, it boils at negative 0.5 degrees Celsius, so at room temperature it's a gas. But under pressure, it's a liquid. So if you hit listen, don't know if you can hear that, but you'll feel there's a liquid in here. And this liquid, okay, is maintained as a liquid because of the pressure, because of the vapor pressure. The butane actually evaporates into the can, and it produces enough pressure by its own molecules that evaporate that prevent the others from evaporating. So they reach some kind of equilibrium. The rate of evaporation equals the rate of condensation, but the molecules above here prevent the um, prevent the molecules from actually uh, continually vaporizing and so that we have a gas and then we have a liquid so in any case what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of this liquid into the back so I'm going to move that to the side as that's another example and I'm going to open up this can and I'm going to turn this upside down because by turning it upside down what I'm doing is I'm making all the liquid go to the bottom so when I open up the valve the liquid comes out so let's do that. Press down. And I'm going to get a little cold here, but. All right, so we've got a good amount of butane here in the bag. You can see it on the bottom, bottom corner there. And because the, the room temperature is above negative one degree Celsius, we've got boiling. And I like this demonstration. I like to pass this around because students can just hit this. I don't know if you can see that clearly as my autofocus isn't so great, but you can see that by grabbing that corner, okay, of liquid, and I'm just going to turn it this way. So as we look at the liquid, okay, you can grab that corner, and it bubbles, even pops. And you could pass this around. And it's interesting for kids. They think boiling means always warm because they associate it with boiling of water at 100 degrees Celsius, but this is boiling cold. Now, as you pass this around, you'll notice the bag is going to start to fill up because the, whether your hand is touching or not, the surrounding environment is enough to make the liquids overcome their attractive forces, which, by the way, are pretty weak since this thing uh, uh, boils at low temperatures. And you can see that there's a good amount of vapor pressure or vapor being collected in this bag as the bag gets bigger. So it's a nice little demonstration, boiling cold. Okay, get my autofocus just pressing that and they can actually feel how cold that is yet they're causing it to boil and at the same time which I really like is if your bag is nice and sealed okay you'll get a filled bag of vapor so pass that around your class by the time you get to your last student this will be nice and filled you can hear that popping I'm just going to make it try to evaporate as possible. So I get to the point where my bag is filled. And you can actually see that the bag is clearly getting filled with the butane vapor. There's just not enough vapor pressure in here to prevent the liquid from completely evaporating. So equilibrium cannot be established in this bag. But it's trying. So what I have here is a bag that is now filled. And that's a nice observation for the student to say, whoa, what's going on here? Okay, and I certainly wouldn't do this uh, in front of them exactly, I'd walk away, but what's interesting, if you light a corner, okay, just enough to produce a little hole, yeah, you got a little, you can light that, whoa, you can push that out. Okay, it's a nice little flamethrower little effect. Okay, again, don't do that next to students, please. So a nice little demonstration.